if we make our life too easy in the short run, we might actually be making our, our life more challenging in the future. One of my favorite things ever is that we don't do a lot of editing in our podcast. Even in this one, nothing's going to get edited out. I like that. Podcast Growth Nation, welcome back to another episode of Podcast Growth University, where we talk all things podcasting all the time. I hope you enjoyed the latest episode, episode number 68, five of the biggest lessons from guesting on over 700 other podcasts. My goodness, that's a lot of podcasts when when I go back and think about it. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Hopefully, I can save you 700 hours of time with those lessons, 700, maybe we'll say 500 hours because not every show is an hour. Today for episode number 69, are you using AI as much as you could? So as I mentioned in the previous episode, I didn't necessarily want to do an episode on AI, artificial intelligence, for those of you who might be new to the phrase. But I do believe as podcasters, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, as content creators, anything we can do to improve the process is going to be valuable. And for a long time, I was anti-AI. I don't want to say anti. I just wasn't super into it because I usually, I'm not an early adopter of things. So there's been a lot of different changes in the landscape of social media and productivity in the last seven years since I started this journey, there have been a lot of different platforms that don't exist anymore. So I usually wait to see if something's actually for real before I start using it. And I think AI, I should have known AI was for real. I think I did. I just didn't understand how valuable it was. So I feel like it's an important topic to touch on. And my thought behind this, and the reason I want to do an episode on it is If there's something out there that is going to make your life a lot easier, that's awesome. If there's something out there that's going to allow you to save time doing something you don't want to do to invest that time into something you want to do slash could be doing to grow, I think that's super beneficial. And if there is some sort of assistance that's going to help your system be more efficient, that's a huge win. My main goal in today's episode is to talk about the difference between a supplement and a main course. So there are a lot of people that are going to overutilize AI. And all I mean by that is they're going to rely on it. They're not going to use it as a training wheel. They're going to use it as the entire vehicle and they're going to go purely AI. And they're going to say, okay, I'm going to have my AI do my videos and I'm going to have it edit every single space out in my audio. And I'm going to have it do this and this and this and this and this. I think AI is supplemental. I don't think it's the main course. And here's the reason I say that. AI, if it's going to do stuff for you, it creates the opportunity for you not to do it, but that also creates the detriment of you not getting good at something. So let's say, I'm sure this exists in some capacity, but let's say there's an AI out there where you can just upload your podcast episode and it will edit the whole thing. It'll get rid of all the spaces, all the pauses, all the filler words. You might say, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to do that. Problem with that is it doesn't force you to become a better speaker. It doesn't force you to become a better podcaster. It doesn't force you to listen to your episode. So yes, it's efficient and it's saving time on one end, but it's also not creating skills. It's also not creating the necessity to get better. That's what I mean when I say a supplement versus a main course. There's a lot of easy ways now to get content. I'm all for that. But what a lot of people are doing is they're using AI to create questions for their guests, or they're using AI to create the entire script of their show. I'm not saying that's bad. What I am saying is if you're not using that as a training wheel, where eventually you feel comfortable enough to start doing the episodes in your own words, in your own way, where you take the lessons that you're learning from this AI. So let's just say chat GPT. And you're saying, okay, this is the, these are the 10 questions that chat GPT came up with for a guest who is a specialist on blah, blah, blah. All right. Let me add three of my own questions. All right, next time, let's add four of my own questions. All right, now let's replace one of the chat GPT questions with one of my own and continue doing that. 
It's just a very dangerous game to be hyper reliant on something that is not within your control. And if you're not playing the long game with your skills, I would say that you might be using AI more than you should. But there is a sweet spot, right? There, there is a sweet spot where we can use AI to be more efficient, but not if it's going to create something that you are hyper reliant on. Remember, it's good to have safety nets, but it's, it's important that we test out life without the safety nets from time to time. If you want to edit every like, every um, every but, every pause, every time you misspeak, you can do that. But if you do plan on being a speaker eventually, if you do plan on doing live things, it's probably valuable for you to practice making mistakes and not pulling them. That's more of a, a training wheel system. The training wheel system is, yeah, if I really mess up, I'll, I'll make some edits. If I really, really mess up, then it gets to the point where eventually you take the training wheels off and you don't really ever make any edits because when you do say, um, like, but whatever it may be, you catch that when you review your show and then you try to avoid that mistake moving forward. It almost is using a filter on social media. Have you ever met someone who looks completely different in real life than they do on social media? I have many people. I have met many people. The reason behind that is not a lot of people that see them on social media are actually going to meet them in person. So nobody really knows, but that is them using training wheels that they can never really ever take off. I just don't want that for you. The goal, Podcast Growth University, not just growing your podcast, but growing yourself as a podcaster, growing your skills, growing your confidence, growing your communication, your speaking, your coaching, your business acumen, whatever it is. I want us all to play the long game. Hey, Kevin, Kim here. Just wanted to send you a video to say thank you so much for your help on creating the Peaceful Productivity Podcast. You know, I couldn't have done it without you. I knew you'd be lots of great help with the technical aspects of getting the podcast going, but you went well above and beyond that. You helped me with the strategy and you gave me all kinds of really great support. You know, I think the key to success in business is a great attitude and you have that in spades. You really walk the walk. So thanks again. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. So we're 69 episodes into Podcast Growth You. And we're just getting started. It's a year and almost a half or however many weeks it is, 69 weeks, so 52 and 17. So yeah, maybe a year and a quarter. But we're just getting started here. If I was using safety nets every single episode, I probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to grow as much as I have. And I think of AI the same way. So yes, AI can help you with your show notes. It can help you write the podcast description. I don't think you should use it for titling episodes. I think practicing that is going to be valuable for you. You understand your audience way better than ChatGPT does, for sure. So can we leverage it? Yes. But there's a difference between leveraging something and just using it forever. Leveraging something versus defaulting to something are two different thoughts. So you can use... AI to help you name your podcast episodes, but I would trust yourself because that's a skill worth developing. Asking questions to your guests, I think that's a skill worth developing. Speaking in general, I think that's a skill worth developing. Can you make some sort of script? Sure. Can you outline some questions to ask guests? Sure. But if you rely on that too much, my fear is you will not continue to increase your skills and you won't feel more confident. What happens if some, what happens if you get an opportunity that you weren't prepared for and you don't have chat GPT? Then that's the question. Are you still going to take that shot or are you going to say, ah, I don't have my training wheels. I can't do it. That's really what I want today's episode to be about. So I think we should use it. I think it's beneficial. It can save us time. It can increase efficiency. It can make our life a little bit easier. But if we make our life too easy in the short run, we might actually be making our, our life more challenging in the future. One of my favorite things ever is that we don't do a lot of editing in our podcast. Even in this one, nothing's going to get edited out. I like that. 
I think that's important because when I review, which I haven't been this show, I've been struggling reviewing our other seven episodes, but when I review, I catch things. And then often I find myself listening and saying to myself, oh, what I really hope I say next is blank because that would be a really good line. And then sometimes I say it and other times I don't, but it's the raw version. It's real. There's nothing changed about it. So I know this is actually what's going into the microphone. That I, I'm just very passionate about that. I think editing is a short-term win for a long-term loss if you're editing for imperfection, not editing so you can get better. So that's really my main thought. Are we using AI as much as we could? What is the sweet spot for us? What is the five? Zero is not using it at all. 10 is absolutely obsessing over it. It writes our show notes. It writes our podcast titles. It writes the questions we ask our guests. It writes the the script, it creates our social media content. If that's the way you want to do it, sure. But I do think there are skills that you're going to be missing out on. Using AI is a skill. Understanding what prompts to put in is a skill. Creating the systems around that is a skill. Yes. But those skills might not cross over to being a more effective speaker. Those skills might not cross over to asking better questions. One of the things I do with many of my clients is they'll come to me and say, these are the next five episodes. These are the thoughts. These are the themes. These are the lessons. What would you name them? Or this is what we named them. What's your feedback? That's just because I've done 1500 titles. I am, I will not use AI to help me title episodes because I know it makes life easier in the short run, but it makes it far more challenging eventually. So that's my that's my thought for this episode. Utilize it, but don't overutilize it. Don't underutilize it, but don't obsess over it. That is my thought for this episode. So the question I would ask is, on a scale of one to 10, how much are you using AI? And how much are you relying on it? Is it helpful or has it become a crutch? If it's become a crutch, what we what can we do to start walking on our own. And if we're not utilizing it all, what's one place we could start just to see what the potential is. That would be my main thought for this episode. Podcast Growth Nation, as always, if you are interested in a free 30-minute podcast breakthrough session, I will have my link in the show notes below. Last episode was all about how many podcasts I've been on. I have done, oh my goodness, probably two or 300 podcast breakthrough sessions. So the number is pretty high there as well. And I would love to add value to you if you're interested. Next week, this is a milestone episode. Next week for episode number 70, I am going to do the top five lessons from hosting over 1500 episodes. So if you are listening to this on Friday, it'd be Friday the 20th, I believe. Wednesday, we are dropping our 1500th episode of Next Level University. And I have hosted every single one of those episodes. So there's a lot of lessons. There's a lot of mistakes. There's a lot of successes. There's a lot of failures, quote unquote, from those 1500 episodes. I will choose the top five that hopefully will be the most valuable for you and hopefully can help you speed up your journey. As always, I hope the speaking is feeling strong. I hope you're getting engagement on social media. I hope you are building relationships on social media for sure. I hope your listeners are self-identifying. I hope your equipment is not acting up. I hope you feel very positive about a bright podcasting future. And until next week, keep on crushing it, keep on podcasting, and we will talk to you very soon.